Good afternoon, my dear students. How have you been? Today we have a new story. Our story is nail soup. Don't say soap. We use the soap to use to wash our hands. But we use the soup or but we eat the soup. We don't use it. We eat the soup. So the genre of the story is folktale. What's the meaning of folktale? The folk tale is a short story passed from person to person. It always has a problem the characters have to solve. It usually has a message or a lesson. So what's the meaning of folk tale? The folk tale is a short story passed from a person to person. It always has a problem the characters have to solve. It usually has a message or a lesson. The essential question is what choices are good for us? What choices are good for us? Some decisions, uh, some decisions are easy. We make many decisions every day, but smart choices help us to live healthy lives. We should choose healthy snacks. We should choose to sleep early. We should choose to do exercises. We should choose uh, to study hard. We should choose to be polite, to be caring, and to be thinkers. So our choices should be good choices, and the good choices are good for us. Now, let's start with the vocabulary. I want you to open your reading book, page number 260, 261. We're going to find this page, 260, 261. Let me write it for you. Reading book, page number 260, 261. Okay? So let's start. I need you to prepare your sticky notes to write the meaning. The first word here is aroma. The first word is aroma. What's the meaning of aroma? The aroma is a pleasant smell. It's a nice and pleasant smell. Like when we say the coffee has a nice aroma. The delicious, look at here. The delicious aroma was coming from the kitchen. The aroma of a fresh baking wafted to her. The aroma of the flower is very nice. So aroma means a pleasant smell. Let's read the sentence from your book. Carl smelled the sweet aroma of the flowers near his house. And here in the picture, the girl smells the sweet aroma of the flower. The second word is flavorful, flavorful. Flavorful, flavorful means full of flavor and tasty, full of flavor and tasty. Like when we say this was an incredibly dish in every way, it was uh, an incredibly flavorful dish in every way. The steak was flavorful and cooked as order. So flavorful means full of flavor or tasty. Expect. Expect means to think or suppose something or to look forward to. If you want to write one meaning, write the first one. To think or suppose something to think or suppose some, something and to look forward to. This is the meaning of expect. Like uh, the English homework was easier than I expected. I expected to take piano lessons sometime. I don't expect him to fix it. Maybe the car or the watch or whatever. Let's read the sentence from your books. I see clouds, so I expect it will rain today. If I see clouds, 
I will think or I will for I will look forward to the rain. Graceful something that is beautiful or pleasing in design, movement or style. Graceful, graceful something that is beautiful or pleasing in design, movement or style. Like when we say she has become a very graceful dancer. She, she danced in a graceful way. Let's read the sentence from your book. Katie is a graceful dancer. So graceful means beautiful in design, movement, or style. Interrupted. Interrupted again. Interrupted. Interrupted means to stop something or blocking it. So something that is stopped for a time or blocking of interrupted means something that is stopped for a time or blocking off. She was talking on the phone, but he tried to interrupt her, right? So interrupting means to stop something for a time or blocking off. Like when I say, mm, please don't interrupt me while I'm talking. Or I didn't mean to interrupt you. I don't want to interrupt you. Or I don't want to be interrupted. Don't interrupt our conversation. So interrupt means to stop for a time or a broken off. Lashes, lashes, lashes means something that smells or tastes delicious. Lashes means something that smells or tastes delicious or pleasing to taste or smell. Okay, like when we say, I wanted to take a bite of the luscious apple. Uh, because the bread smelled luscious, I decided to go to into the bakery. So luscious means something that smells or tastes delicious. Let's read the sentence from your book for luscious. Uh, these strawberries are sweet and luscious. Variety, variety. What's the meaning of variety? Variety is a number of different kinds or assortment is a number of different kinds. Like when we say we grow variety of crops, they are made in a variety of sizes. The shop sells a variety of goods. You should eat variety of fresh fruit and vegetables. So variety means a number of different kinds or assortment. The last word, healthful. Healthful. Health, uh, healthful means likely to make you healthy. Likely to make you healthy. Like when we say a healthful diet includes lots of green vegetables or all the vegetables are are helpful food. Now let's so okay in the beginning let's revise the words. The first word here is aroma. What's the meaning of aroma? It's a pleasant smell. Expect means support something to happen or to look forward to. Flavorful means full of flavor or tasty. Graceful means beautiful or pleasing in design, movement, or style. Healthful means likely to make you healthy. Interrupted means um, stopped off or broken. Stopped or broken off. <coughs> Luscious means something that smells or tastes delicious. Variety means a number or or a number of different kinds a number of different kinds now let's talk about the root words what are the root words the root words is the base word has nothing has it's the base word it's a word without prefixes or suffixes suffixes so 
The root word has nothing added at the beginning or the end, like uh, here, clear. Clear is a root word. We can add prefixes and suffixes to the word to make new words like any clear. What is that root word clear is? The root word. So the root word is the word without prefixes or suffixes. We can add prefixes and suffixes to the root word to make a new word. Okay. Now get your turn practice book. Here we have another slide for root words like here we can say rewrite, react, replay, uh, for example, anti, disagree, reread or reread, joyful, um, review. We can add prefixes and suffixes to the root word to make a new word, but the root word has no prefixes or suffixes in it. Now, get your turn practice book. I already solved it for you. I already solved it uh, before. I forgot to put movements. So let's revise them. Here we have. Finish each sentence using the vocabulary word provided. Each autumn, what do you expect to have uh, to expect to happen during the autumn? We expect. Wait, they told us to use expect. Yes. So we expect the leaves to fall from the trees. Flavorful. I think the new recipe will make our meatballs more flavorful. Here we have my mother's perfume. They want us to use aroma. Gives off a sweet aroma of flavorful. Luscious, it's the time of year when our garden produces ripe and luscious tomatoes. Graceful, after many years of swimming lessons, she has become graceful in the water. Interrupted. I started to tell her the roof was leaking, but I was interrupted by the phone ringing. Here we have variety. My brother eats the same cereal every morning, but I like to eat a variety of different things. Here, helpful as a snack fruit is more helpful than candy don't forget to put periods they put already here but i prefer to put it by myself and you can write your own sentences now open page number 157 your turn practice book page number 157 did its sentence below Write the root word of the word in bold on the line, then write the definition of the word. That's mean we should remove the prefixes and suffixes from the word. I'm very powerful turtle in my land. So we will remove full. So the base word or the root word is power. Let's write power. What's the meaning of power? It means important or influential important important or influential here number two your act was an inspiration inspiration we will remove the i o n so the base word is inspire what's the meaning of inspire inspire means someone or something that stirs a feeling Someone or something that stirs a feeling. Number three, I want to reward you for your kindness. We're going to, rem to remove N-E-S-S. -S. So the base word is kind. What's the meaning of kind? Kind means to be friendness or uh, or thoughtfulness. Kind means to be friendly, friendliness or 
thoughtful. Number four. I have a lot of admiration for your home, but I must return to my home before morning. Admiration, the beast word is admire. Admire, yes. The beast word is admire. What's the meaning of admire? Admire means a feeling or respect. A feeling or respect. Number five, the boy was filled with appreciation. Appreciation, the beast word is appreciate. It's the verb. Appreciate. We will remove the I O N. Appreciation, but couldn't help but wonder about the second drawer. So appreciate. What's the meaning of appreciate? It's a feeling of being thankful. A feeling of being thankful. Thank you for listening to grade three. See you later. Goodbye.